No one wants to spend their last days on their own. That's why the effect of COVID-19 over the elderly was so heartbreaking. Uh, they are at high risk and they need to be isolated, but we find a safe way to spend time with them, watch them and listen to them. I think everyone was surprised on how quickly the Taliban took control of the entire country, capturing all major cities uh, in a matter of days and reaching Kabul while foreign troops were still on the ground. Afghanistan is one of the world's largest producers of heroin and it also has a huge problem of addiction. In this photo, these men are waiting to have their head shaved after the Taliban forcibly took them from the streets and locked them up at a former military base now used for treatment of drug users. A pifodolomus around the world covered floods, fires, drought and starvation last year and it is clear that climate change and global warming are contributing to some of those catastrophes. After years of covering stories on migration and human trafficking along the Mexico-U.S. border, I keep thinking that any of us could potentially become migrants, refugees, or asylum seekers, be it because of natural disasters, climate change, civil war, or so many other reasons. We're in the midst of the presidential vote count, the Electoral College, when police start shouting at lawmakers that the Capitol has been breached. There's tear gas in the rotunda. Glass breaks in the main door to the House chamber. That's the very door where the president enters for the State of the Union speech every year. The agents are aiming their guns through the shattered window, so I steadied my telephoto zoom on that door where I can hear the growl of the mob. Then there's an eye, one of the rioters trying to see inside. What he does not see are the pistols inches from his face. The job of the photojournalist, really the responsibility is to show people what they cannot see on their own. And to do that, we have to be there. <laughs>